Hey YouTubers, it's Rob Muffet. Guys, today we're doing a little video on uh, boric acid. Um, I've been experimenting with boric acid primarily as an eye wash and some other things like for, uh, for bugs in the house and so on. And uh, I was thinking about doing a video of all the different ways you can use boric acid and I started doing some web surfing and I found a really fascinating article on bed bugs and boric acid. Well, fascinating to me. Um, and they did some research on boric acid with bed bugs and German cockroach and they found some kind of interesting things. The, uh, the bed bugs are becoming more common here in the US. They had been pretty much eradicated and now they're coming back. And there was a study done by a team at North Carolina State University by, uh, well, led by uh, Mr. Kobe Shaw, Dr. Dr. Shaw. And they, they looked at two different ways to deliver boric acid to bed bugs. And they also looked at boric acid and how it affects German cockroaches. And if you go on YouTube, there's a million videos on giving boric acid to cockroaches. And usually they involve adding sugar or peanut butter or egg and so on. I've got an excellent video on getting rid of cockroaches. I made like six or seven years ago. I'll leave a link to it. And I don't use boric acid at all, but it is very effective. But he has some interesting uh, results. Now, they found out that the boric acid will kill the bed bugs but only if the chemical is ingested. Most of the applications for boric acid for bed bugs is a powder that you, you spread all over and supposedly the bed bugs are killed by getting it on their body but this study indicates that's not true. What they did is uh, they got the bed bugs to eat boric acid at different concentrations from 0.5 percent to 2 percent and if it was greater than two percent the bed bugs were too happy about eating it but at two percent they died very quickly and as low as 0.5 percent they still uh died 100 percent, but at a much slower pace but they said the external contact with even very high concentrations of boric acid really didn't have any effect on the bed bugs however the boric acid did kill the german cockroaches whether or not they ate it or they just came in contact with it and that's something i was always uh, been led to believe is that you don't need cockroaches to eat uh boric acid they just have to walk on it and then they get it on their legs and then they start cleaning themselves and they ingest it that way so you see all these videos on youtube about making edible things for cockroaches to eat boric acid it's not necessary if you just get a tray when and spread the powder in the tray and put uh, the boric acid in the tray and the food in the middle <laughs> when the bugs walk across it they're going to get the boric acid I, I did the same thing with uh, diatomaceous earth and and I, I made a tray and they had to walk across it and it killed them but uh, let's get back to about bed bugs it said the bed bugs they had no aversion to feeding on the boric acid at concentration up two percent but when it got uh, higher, like 5%, there were fewer and fewer that would we'd eat it. Um, now, it said ingestion, can, can, by comparison, was easily induced in bed bugs and highly effective at killing the bed bugs. A single blood meal with 0.5% boric acid killed 80% of all bugs in seven days, and concentrations above 1% killed all bed bugs within four days. It goes on to say, boric acid, it's a preferable chemical for use in bed bug baits. <laughs> say that three times. Since it's uh, it's soluble in, in water, it's stable in water, it's easy to mix in water, and it, it doesn't fall out of solution. It's not toxic to mammals or, and uh, like many other chemicals. It's very cheap, and it doesn't seem to trigger any resistance by insects. So uh, it said, the boric acid and dust applications, however, um, show practically very small, minimally effective against bed bugs. Um, so managing bed bug for, for managing bed bugs methods to induce ingestion of boric acid will need to be devised because somehow in this study they got <laughs> the bed bugs to eat the boric acid in blood. So I know they weren't giving it to people. <laughs> or other animals because if you, if you fed the boric acid to people at five percent concentration you'd kill the animals so how did he do it so i went down to the bottom here and i started getting some comments and people are asking the same thing and the people at entomology today are very nice they responded to one of the persons 
and they said the research reported uh, the boric acid was dissolved in rabbit blood. Um, it said the uh, the phagostimulants in blood likely maximize blood intake. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, what they added to the blood to maximize the intake. Um, but they also added heat and ATP. Well, that's like adenosine triphosphate. I'm not sure why they would be adding that. But they, they did add the uh, boric acid. It says boric acid, heat, and ATP combined in their method of treating the bed bugs was very effective. Um, so that's how they did it. They were able to use rabbit blood. I went to the study here. However, it doesn't give me any um, way to get into the study unless I'm... Uh, you either pay for it or you have to be a member and so on. But it, it, it just pretty much talks about what the article went over. So they, they did have to find some way for the bed bugs to to uh, eat the blood that has the boric acid in it. I think if someone was able to come up with something that was synthetic, it wasn't a mammal blood, that it would be a very effective way because just about all insects, if they ingest the boric acid, kills them. It is the bed bugs, they have a very hard shell and it's difficult for the boric acid to penetrate. So my point is you see a lot of people selling powdered boric acid to get rid of bed bugs. And unless there's some way to encourage the bed bugs to eat it, it doesn't seem to be very effective at all. However, it does show you if you want to get rid of your German cockroaches, you don't need to get them to eat it at all. Just to walk on it will be enough. So I thought this was kind of an interesting article. I'm going to do some more research on this, see what I could find about something that would be a synthetic uh, blood that they could. Um, I remember reading some of my chlorophyll one time. Someone told me chlorophyll was organically very similar structure to uh, hemoglobin. So that would be interesting. Maybe someone could use wheatgrass juice <laughs> with some boric acid to get rid of the bed bugs. All right, guys, that's just my rambling for today. Hope you liked this video. And putting on new stuff all the time, every week for 13 years, got over 800 videos and no bed bugs. <laughs> no, no roaches either. I'll leave a link to my article or my video I did years ago on how I got rid of bugs. Also, I'm doing some experiments with uh, boric acid at home, like making some eye wash and other things. And uh, this is one I've been using. It's only like five or six bucks. They say down here, Humco boric acid powder is a chemical used in many pharmacies to compound special preparations according to physicians' orders. But it doesn't say Humco boric powder is used in many pharmacies. It says it's a chemical used in many pharmacies. <laughs> you got to be an English teacher to figure this out. Boric acid is not only used pharmaceutically, but can also be used in several home remedies. However, it doesn't say Humco boric acid powder is used pharmaceutically and in several home remedies. So they're kind of teasing you here. You don't know. I'm using it anyway. <laughs> I think it's uh, good to have, like if you're a prepper, to have something just in case you ever needed to make an eye wash. But I, I prefer it's so much safer just to buy a Bosch and Lom. Uh, you can get it for four dollars. It's sterile. It's safe. But if you didn't have a store, if you you had a situation where you couldn't get supplies, this is always good to have. You can do many things with boric acid. All right, guys, I'm around here. Thought I was going to go. All right, <laughs> I'm checking out now. Take care. See you out there.